Have you ever stopped and asked yourself, where did the last few years go? It feels like just yesterday the world shut down, yet here we are, years later, looking back at a blur. The past four or five years seem to have flown by faster than any other span in our lives. But why? What happened to time as we knew it? There's a strange collective agreement that time feels different now. It's not just you. It's not just the pandemic, though COVID played a big part. Something deeper is at play here. Time distortion, or chronostasis, is a phenomenon well documented by psychologists. It's often triggered by a lack of novelty. When we stop noticing new things, our brains don't register time passing in the same way. COVID-19 forced us into our routines, but that's only half the story. The explosion of technology, our constant connection to the internet, phones, and the endless stream of information, these have also played a significant role. We're surrounded by an overload of options, distractions, and passive consumption. Our brains, overloaded with information, lose track of time. We get stuck in cycles of scrolling, consuming, and repeating. And just like that, days, months, years, all start to blur. But what if there was a deeper parallel, a story from thousands of years ago that mirrors our current experience? The Israelites wandered in the wilderness for 40 years. It wasn't just a physical journey, it was a spiritual one. They were caught in patterns of disobedience, grumbling, and forgetting their purpose. And much like us, they found themselves in repetitive cycles, stuck and lost in time. They had a promise, an intentional purpose, but they kept missing it. They refused to fully answer God's call, and as a result, they stagnated both physically and spiritually. It wasn't the wilderness itself that trapped them, but their unwillingness to break free from their own patterns of disconnection. Maybe it's not just the pandemic or the tech overload that's made the past few years feel like a blur. Maybe it's that we too have fallen into patterns of passively living, of not answering the call to a higher purpose. We're stuck in the wilderness of our own making, disconnected from what truly matters. But just as the Israelites eventually broke free, there is hope for us as well. The story of the Israelites teaches us that breaking the cycle starts with intentional living, answering the call of purpose. It's only when they finally listened to God's voice and stepped into their calling that they entered the promised land. For us, that might mean reconnecting with a sense of purpose, living deliberately and stepping away from the distractions and temptations that trap us in the mundane. Science supports this idea too. Our brains register time as meaningful when we encounter novelty, purpose, and engagement. When we step out of passive consumption and start actively participating in life, time begins to slow down. We create memories and we begin to feel connected again. Reclaiming time means reclaiming purpose. And just like the Israelites, we need to break free from the cycles of disconnection and live intentionally. This could mean spending less time mindlessly scrolling, choosing meaningful activities, or simply taking a step back to ask, what am I really living for? The past few years may have felt like a blur, but they don't have to define what our future is. Just as the Israelites found their way out of the wilderness, we too can find our way by listening to the call of purpose, living intentionally and reconnecting with what truly matters. And maybe time will start to feel meaningful again. <laughs>